I hope you all are doing well. Today I'm going to be sharing with you what is on my phone. I feel like this video has been going around YouTube for probably years now, so I'm a little late to the game. However, I just thought it'd be fun to share with you my favorite apps and also share with you some of the apps that I use for editing my Instagram pictures. Um, so I have an iPhone 5S. I am a loyal Apple product user, as most YouTubers are. I love me an Apple product. Um, I've had an iPhone for years now. I've had this one for probably about a year, I would say. I think I'm due for an upgrade at the end of the year, which honestly, I'm not like in a big hurry to upgrade because I'm not a huge fan of the 6 or 6 Plus. I just think they're a little bit too big for my little hands. This one fits perfectly in my hand and I can still text and do everything with just one hand. So. I'm really happy about that. So this is the iPhone 5S in silver. I do have a case on it. This is what the case looks like. I have no idea what the brand is, but it's just this silver sparkly case. And it is like, it's, you know, hard. You, don't, you can't feel the sparkles or anything. Um, I actually purchased this phone when I was working at the aftercare program. And I got it in the mail and I brought it to work. And I didn't have a uh, case for it. I just hadn't purchased one yet. And the, one of the girls that I worked with thought I was absolutely insane for not having a case. So she actually brought me this one and I have just had it on my phone since. I'm not really one to go out and buy a bunch of iPhone cases because I feel like I'm getting a new phone all the time that it's such a waste of money to go out and buy new cases all the time because as soon as I get the 6, I'm not going to be able to use my 5S cases anymore. So um, I've just had this one on there ever since. Um, so yeah, that's my phone, and without further ado, I'm going to show you guys the apps that are on my iPhone. Alright, so here is what my phone looks like after it has been unlocked. I do have a lock screen on my phone. The background photo is a, a picture of my husband and I from when we were married. I'm going to go ahead and pull this a little bit closer so you guys can see a little bit better. The first app I have right here is my messages app that is just for texting. It's always been first in my phone. The second app I have is Facebook that is for my personal Facebook page. Honestly, I thought about deleting Facebook altogether, um, but I really can't because a lot of the work that I do is through Facebook pages and I have to have a Facebook in order to access those, but I may just delete it from my phone because I don't really need to have it on my phone. Um, I honestly just feel like Facebook has become a very negative place lately and I don't know, I just don't really like reading negative things and hearing negative things, so let me know if you guys feel the same way about Facebook these days. I also have my Pinterest app, which I absolutely love. Here's my page. If you guys want to follow me, I'll leave the link below. I love pinning things. I always go on Pinterest late at night. My favorite board to pin to would probably be the For the Home board. Um, my husband and I just bought a new house, so I'm always pinning home decor things. So there's Pinterest. Um, I also have YouTube, of course. Um, I watch videos late at night. So here are some of the people that I am subscribed to. I also have my channel here as well, so here I am on the mobile app. And then next to that I have Instagram, which is one of my favorite social media sites. This is my Instagram page if you guys want to follow me. I am at Glitter and Groceries on Instagram. If you don't have an Instagram page you can access it, here's a little sneak peek of some of the things that I post. The app next to Instagram is called Hash. You can download it for free in the App Store. It is a new app, and it's kind of like Instagram. So if you guys just saw my Instagram page, this is extremely similar. So when you download Hash, you basically link it to your Instagram account. And instead of following people like you would on Instagram, you follow hash boards. So here are mine, the ones that I follow. Of course, you guys know I'm a huge Dave Ramsey fan, so I follow Dave Ramsey. I also, of course, follow the Glitter and Groceries hashtag. Uh, if you guys ever uh, tag me in a photo, I will see them here. I also like to follow the GoPro Hero hashtag, live like no one else, Leno, which the former Mrs. Jones came up with, that is short for live like no one else. I like to see the cool sunset photos, wedding pictures, wildlife, and also wise words. So these are the hash boards that I personally follow, and when you click on them, I'll just click on the live like no one else hashtag. You can see the um, people that you are following on Instagram, what they have hashed as live like no one else, or you can go over and you can see the ones that are trending, which this is hard to do while you're looking at the camera and the phone at the same time, but you can go over to the ones that are trending, there we go, or you can go over to the ones that are all. So anyone who has ever hashtagged the uh, live like no one else hashtag, they will all appear here. And something that I really enjoy about hash that you cannot do on Instagram is when you click on a photo, you can actually zoom in 
on the photo. There we go. You can zoom in, which is something that you cannot do on Instagram, and I find myself constantly trying to zoom in on pictures on Instagram, so that's kind of a bummer, but I love that you can do that on Hashed, so there's that. Um, here is the trending page, which are all of the hashtags that I follow and the pictures that are trending on those hashtags. Of course, you can explore new hashtags, and you can also create your own, so... There's that. I thought I would let you guys know about this app. It's a new one that I have been using and I've been really enjoying it. I personally really like to follow hashtags more than I like to follow people just because I feel like I am always searching for Dave Ramsey hashtags or, um, you know, motivation hashtags, spring cleaning hashtags. I'm always searching for hashtags. So I love that this new app has been created. Like I said, you can download it from the App Store absolutely free. So make sure to go check that one out. And if you create a hashed account, make sure to follow the Glitter and Groceries hashtag and start using it. I would love to see your photos. I also have Yahoo Mail. That is uh, anything that's not related to my YouTube or business. Um, so when I get emails from Target or um, Restoration Hardware or coupons or things like that, they go to my Yahoo Mail. I also have Twitter, which I don't think I've ever mentioned in a video, but I created a Twitter account. You can follow me. My Twitter handle is at glitter underscore underscore tweets because glitter tweets was taken. So here is my Twitter page. If you guys want to follow me, I'll have the link below. But like I said, my handle is at glitter underscore underscore tweets. So there's that. I've recently been into Twitter. I also have LinkedIn, which is kind of like a professional uh, social media site, so I have that. I also have Pandora. I like to listen to music, and honestly, Pandora is an app that I downloaded um, within the past year. I've always just listened to music from iTunes, but I've been really loving my Pandora stations. I listen to mostly country music on my phone. I also, of course, have the camera app and the photos app. And then I have all of the apps that I use to edit my Instagram photos. So right here you can see I have InstaSize, and that basically what that does, it will take a photo that you have taken, um, and it will turn it into the perfect size for Instagram. Like let's say you have a photo that you took long ways that doesn't go on Instagram, you can rotate it and add a background to it so that it will fit on Instagram. So I use that one quite often. The next one is Pick Stitch, which basically you can create all kinds of different collages. They have all kinds of different uh, ways to set them up. So I really enjoy using this, um, uh, what is it called? <laughs> this app as well. Um, I use it quite often. Um, I also have ABM, which stands for A Beautiful Mess. I want to say that was like 99 cents or $1.99 um, on the App Store, but I've really been enjoying that one. And I also have this one. It's called Rhonda, and I think it's called Rhonda Designs. And you can add fun pictures and things like that to your photos. At the bottom here, I also have the Target Cartwheel app, which is an app that you can use to save money at Target. Once my financial series has ended, I'm going to go into a whole couponing series where I'll be talking about apps that I use to save money. So Target Cartwheel is one of them. Also Shopular, which I've talked about in the past, but you can search for big brand name stores on there and usually there's some great coupons. So if you're going to Joann's, they usually have 25% off coupons, um, things like that. So that's a great one to help save money. Checkout 51 is another way to save money. You basically scan your receipts and you can earn cash back for items that you've purchased. I also just have the calendar down here, my phone app, which of course, I mean, why have a phone, right? You need to call people. The only people that I ever call are my mom, my dad, and my husband because I hate talking on the phone. So if you ever want to call me, hang the phone up and text me because I hate talking on the phone. I also have mail, which is um, all related to my YouTube mail. So if someone subscribes, if someone comments, um, if I get a business request or something, that will go there. I also have Safari, which is the internet. And then music is the iTunes music that I have downloaded on my phone. Over here, I have the weather app. I feel like I'm always checking the weather app to see uh, what it looks like for the day so I know what to wear. I also have the clock, which I use every single day because uh, I need to wake up in the morning. So I have that up there. I also have Google Maps because I am very directionally challenged and I'm always <laughs> needing to um, have some navigation on me. So I have maps. I also have notes, which I use 
quite a bit to write my grocery list. Um, if I hear a song on the radio that I like, I write it down so I can remember to download it when I get home. Things like that. Of course, I have the app store so I can download more apps, settings, um, and it has a number one on it because I need to update my phone. But because I've taken so many photos and videos, I have no storage on my phone, so I haven't been able to do that update. I also have this one right here which says extras and these are all things that I never use. Some of these you can't delete because they came standard with the iPhone. The calculator I use every once in a while when I'm doing our budget, uh, but things like newsstand and passbook and compass and voice memos are things that I've never used. I don't play games so I don't need the game center, um, things like that. So I just have those all there so that they're not cluttering up my page. I have the Nike Plus iPod app which um, you buy a little thing that goes into your shoe and you use the app to keep track of how many calories you've burned, how many steps you've taken, um, keep track of your run, things like that. So I use that app every once in a while. I also have the Netflix app. I don't have a Netflix account. My parents actually do. And me and David and my brother and his girlfriend all bum off of their Netflix account. So I have that. I also have the Fandango app, which is probably one I can delete because my husband and I never go to the movies anymore. But when we used to, I would use that app to look up movie times for our local theater. I also would go on there late at night when I was really bored and look at new movies that were coming out. Um, I have the My Radar app, which I use to look and see what the weather is going to look like. Um, we live in South Florida and it seems like it's always raining, so I usually check out the My Radar app to see how long the rain is going to last. I also have Around Me, which is a really great app, especially if you travel quite often. Normally when we go out of town and we don't know what's around, like what kind of restaurants they have and things like that, I'll pull up the Around Me app and find out what restaurants are close to us, and that has come in handy so many times. I love that app. If you don't have it, you need to download it. It's really great. I also have Map My Run, which is another app that will keep track of your runs and walks and calories and things like that. I use that one more often than the Nike Plus iPod because I feel like it calculates a lot better. Um, so I have that one. I also have the stationary app, which I've honestly never used. My friend Summer uh, told me to download it because it was really good, so I need to learn how to use that one. But I think you can make cool backgrounds for your phone and things like that. So have that app. I also have Shopkick which I recently downloaded and basically you get points for walking into stores and scanning products. However, every time I walk into a store it never calculates so I don't really know how to use that app so don't ask me but I downloaded it and I'm trying to use it. I also have Snapchat which is a personal Snapchat account. I only snap like two people and very rarely do I snap them so I probably will end up deleting that sooner rather than later just because it's something I don't really use. Let me know if you guys still use Snapchat or not. I also have the Auntie Anne's uh, app right here because when you download it, you get a free pretzel. So I downloaded that, got my free pretzel, and I don't think I've ever used it again. But I do know every time you get a pretzel, you get points, and when you get so many points, you get another free pretzel. So if you visit Auntie Anne's often, make sure to download it, that app. Um, I also have the Yahoo Messenger app right next to it right here. Um, I do use Yahoo Messenger for work. However, um, I just downloaded it on my phone just to see uh, how it worked. I've never used it. The last app I have on my phone is the Playlist Live app, which is a really important app if you guys are attending Playlist Live this weekend because it has the schedule. You can actually create your own schedule and keep track of it. Um, you can find out what's going on right now. Um, you can see who the special guests are. Also, if you're not going to play this live and you've been interested in going and wondering, you know, what it's about, I would recommend downloading the Playlist Live app and checking out the schedule. That way you can kind of get a feel for what goes on during Playlist Live what the panels are about, who talks in the panels, things like that. Um, this is a great way to get to know a little bit more about Playlist Live. And also, I showed this on my Instagram, but I haven't talked about it on a video. Uh, if you guys go to the schedule and you go over to Sunday, I think it's at 12.45. Let's see if I can find it. Um, right here. This uh, Community Unite Finding Your Niche. Um, I'm going to be speaking on that panel, which is really exciting. You guys can see my name is right here um, with all of these other YouTubers. So the Finding Your Niche panel will look at how YouTube has developed beyond video blogging and sketches to encompass a broad range of interests that can be equally as successful and entertaining. So I will be speaking on the panel representing the housewife and homemaker community here on YouTube. I'm super excited about it. If you're going to be at Playlist Live, make sure to add this one to your schedule. I would love to meet you and I would love to have have you guys in the audience supporting me. I'm really excited about this. I've never been on a panel before. I've only gone to them and um, 
listen to other people speak about YouTube. So I am super excited and super honored to be on this panel. Um, like I said, it is at Playlist Live this Sunday at 1245. Um, the location says Miami. Some of you guys have been asking me if that means it's in Miami. It is not. It is in Orlando, Florida. And the room that we are going to be in is called Miami. So that is really exciting. Uh, I hope that you guys will be there. And those are all the apps that I have on my iPhone. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. If you are on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, or any of the social media sites that I talked about, make sure to go ahead and follow me. I will have my links uh, down below in the description box. You can go check those out. Also, if you download the app Hashed, make sure to follow the hashtag Glitter and Groceries. Also, I would love for you guys to start uh, tagging your photos glitter with the hashtag Glitter and Groceries. I would love to see them. If you recreate a project that I've done in the past, if you've uh, created a recipe that I've done in the past, um, if there's a quote you want me to see, anything, I would love for you guys to use the hashtag Glitter and Groceries when you're on Instagram, Twitter, or Hashed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below and let me know what your favorite app is on your phone. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.